What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see, we have a very, very colorful Halloween look. This look is so freaking cool, but it looks really weird whilst I'm talking because all of like the eyeliner is cracking everywhere. So for today's Halloween tutorial, I thought I would switch it up a little bit and actually create a look that's a little bit more like funky and cool and really creative, but not really scary. As you guys know, I have done many, many skull tutorials like this. And honestly, I didn't really want to do another skull tutorial that was just a plain old skull. So today I thought I would glam it up and add some color in there and I created this really cool rainbow skull. I'll have you know that the majority of the makeup that's on my face is actually my own palette with Makeup Revolution. This is the Color Buzz palette and in here you literally have every color of the rainbow. So that is what I used for the colorful look on my face today. If you guys haven't picked up the Color Buzz palette yet, then I will have all of the links down below. You can get it from Superdrug, Ulta, ASOS, all sorts of different places so make sure you guys check the description but if you guys want to see how to achieve this really cool rainbow skull look then let's get on into the video so to start off this look, I'm using my NYX white jumbo pencil and I'm using this to basically outline the layout of my skull. So I'm just creating these two sort of angled lines down my cheeks and also on my nose. And then I'm taking the SFX white base from Revolution on a foundation brush. And I'm just going to apply this on the lower part of my face where the skull is going to sit. This white base is actually really good because you don't have to mix it with water like most paints. And as you guys can see, it does come out pretty opaque. Once my base is done, I'm then reaching for my Roxy X Revolution Color Burst Palette. This is literally the perfect palette to create this look because it literally has every single color of the rainbow that I'm gonna need for this look. So the first color I'm gonna take is the one called Fetch. It's a really bright hot pink and I'm just gonna apply that on the left side of my face and just kind of diffuse the edges. I'm then taking the shade Bang Bang and I'm just going to apply that right next to the pink and kind of blend it into the pink as well so that there is a nice transition and gradient of color. I'm then taking the yellow shade called Lemonade and I'm just applying that next to the orange and again blending it in. Next up I'm dipping into the shade Dinosaur which is named after you guys, my YouTube family and I'm just going to apply that next to the yellow. The next shade is Blue Lagoon and yet again I'm just applying that next to the green and kind of blending it in for a seamless transition. And lastly we're going to take the shade Memories and apply that right next to the blue at the end of the rainbow transition. This is literally the whole freaking rainbow that I've just created with my own palette on my face. How crazy is that. Once all of my edges are blended and I'm pretty happy with the transition, I'm then going to go back into some of the colors and just kind of roughen it up a little bit. I'm then also taking the shade Fetch and Memories and I'm just applying that on either side of my nose to kind of correspond with the opposite sides of the skull. I'm then returning back to the white face paint and with a little pencil brush, I'm creating the teeth. And as you can see, this looks really effective because they really stand out against the rainbow background. I'm then taking my NYX white liquid liner and I'm using this to kind of neaten up the edges of the teeth because as you can see they're a little bit rough on some edges so we really want to create that sort of like triangular tooth shape with this. I'm now gonna dip into the shade Cocoa, which is a matte brown, and I'm using this on a very small, precise brush to kind of deepen up where the teeth are and make it look more three-dimensional. The darker color next to the white is just gonna make those teeth pop even more and actually make it look like a real-life skull. So I'm really just taking my time with this and I'm just shading in between each tooth with this brush. You don't want it to be too harsh, so you definitely wanna blend out the edges, which can be a little bit difficult with a little brush, but if you take your time, you'll definitely get there. Once I'm finished shading the teeth, I'm taking the same shadow and I'm using this to kind of create the hollow right at the end of the sort of like jawline. If you ever look at a skull, you'll see that it does have those hollows right on either side just by the ear. So this is exactly what I'm gonna try and recreate with this brown shade. I'm then taking that brown shade and I'm creating my little hollow skull nose. I'm then also taking the white liquid liner and just kind of popping a few highlights onto the nose with this. I actually ended up going over this whole thing with the black ink liner because I wasn't really liking how dull 
of the brown was looking on the nose and I feel like the black definitely makes it look a lot more like sunken in and deeper. I'm then taking the brown shade and with a light hand I'm going over the edge of where the skull meets my actual skin. This is just going to make it look like the skull is almost a mask and then I'm reaching back for the white liquid liner to kind of go over the edge of that as well just underneath the brown to really make that pop and add more highlight to the face. I'm then returning back to that jumbo NYX pencil and I'm applying this on my eyes to kind of create a nice light base for the eyeshadow to come. The first shade I'm using on my eyes is the shade Fetch. I'm literally going to use exactly the same colors that I used on my actual skull because I want the colors to correspond exactly and kind of follow through the whole gradient and transition. I'm also going to drag those colors down on my lower lash line and kind of make it look quite messy because I want it to almost look like a paint splatter. I feel like this just adds a really quirky and also a little bit creepy clown-like vibe to this whole makeup look. Using the shade Constellations, I'm applying that to the warm side of the eye look and the shade Sky to the cool tone side. And then I'm going to line my eyes with this roller liner from Benefit. I'm going for quite a bold, dramatic wing. And once I've done that, I've just applied these lashes from Huda Beauty and and this is the finished look. <laughs> I absolutely love how the skull rainbow look turned out. Honestly, it's just so different. It's really colorful and really bright and honestly, it just really makes me happy. If you guys decide to recreate this Halloween look, make sure you guys tag me over on Instagram or Twitter at Roxaurus. And also, if you guys haven't seen the rest of my Halloween series this year, I'll link it in the eye and also the description. I've done plenty of Halloween videos around costumes and Halloween makeup, so make sure you guys check that out. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.